and there's no water sources available. Now animals will use those drinks for water instead. Sometimes elephants, you see, using their chest to gouge a hole on the trunk of the tree. And then they drink the water that comes out. stretch for hundreds of miles across East Africa. Acts sort of like a super highway for millions of animals that migrate through here each and every year. This is the wild Africa that we're all trying so hard to answer. The I holy cattle have huge horns on their heads. They usually get to be about two to four feet long. Thankfully, they're lighter than they look. The horns are not solid inside. Any like structure in there instead. So they're much lighter, much easier for the animals to carry. Further back, a couple spring rock lying down in that clear investing out there too. They're small, only about three feet tall, weigh up to about 100 pounds. Now the horizontals and Coley are one of just aesthetic pieces there actually part of how the animals regulate and maintain their body temperature. A big part of their thermal regulation. Inside the horse is a network of blood vessels and capillaries. Blood flows up and through. Now they're able to store blood up inside their horns and it'll cool down in there because it's close to the outside air temperature. Then they'll shut that blood back down in the rest of the body and it'll spread the cool temperature along with it, helping to cool the entire animal. I saw some movement out here on our left. These are painted dogs. Sometimes we hear them called painted wolves. African wild dogs. Let's make sure everyone is seated for me. See it pulling in completely on their bottoms. African wild dogs look in packs, usually five to fifteen. They are the number one successful predators in Africa. They have a ninety percent run success rate. They're so successful because they have so much stamina they can chase down their brain to whatever they're chasing. is just too tired to keep running. Uh, those are sable antelope to their left. They are the emblem of the reserve. Males and females both have horns in that species. And you can still tell them apart by the color of their coats. Females are lighter, generally a reddish brown coloration. All the males get to be darker, sort of chocolate brown. Some will keep getting darker and darker as they mature yet to be gentle. Now it looks like this giraffe is heading this way. On their left side, a couple of them are walking along. A group of giraffe is called a tower. Now looking at the top of the head, you can see the Osaka on the forehead. That's one of the things they have in common with the Okapi. They also both have long tongues, but the giraffe's tongue can be up to 18 inches long. They have long tongues. They'll use it to reach up the leaves out of the tall trees. They can also use their tongues to reach up the leaves inside their noses, wipe off their eyes, and clean out their ears. That's another one spring lock out on our right. The giraffe lying down right next to these bushes. A few other giraffe up on the hill out to their left as well. You can see them all eating there. Quite a few on their left. A giraffe's going to spend most of his day working on eating, digesting food upwards of 18 hours. Every day a giraffe can eat up to 75,000 food. The gray animals next to us are white bearded wildebeest. A few more spring dogs tucked in the tall grasses too. Now the wildebeest are sometimes killing animals, but she and you think of that name for the out. Like a cow saying the wildebeest say you. Now these animals on our right side are Patterson Eland, and there are a couple calves, a couple babies here, just starting to grow their horns. Patterson's eland are one of the largest species of antelope. Males can stand as tall as six feet at their shoulders and can easily weigh over 2,000 pounds. Another 
are visible between those trees out there. We're reaching up that little thing together. As if they do spend so much time eating and collecting food, their tongues are very different in color to keep getting sunburned. Tree 
tree in the edge of the room. There's a cheetah lying down. Fast is laying down. Yeah, sure. 
we do come way down this line, Hilly works too. Fast water, lady. Let's go well. So, water, lady, friends. Go well. Enjoy the rest of your day out here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Only whenever your travels may take the night. Wild and wonderful. Fantastic adventures. Jump away.